Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In this quick GPU test, I am going to retest the Intel Arc A770 16 gigabyte GPU in some Blender rendering. Um, I have brand new drivers as of, I believe May 11th of 2024. And um, I have all of the other important settings enabled. And we're gonna try to retest this in Blender 4.1 to see if this thing is any faster in cycles after um, more than half a year since I've really tested it. So um, system specs, we have my 5950X test bench with 64 gigs of DDR4 memory at 3600 megahertz. And we can see our Intel A770 GPU um, with May 11th drivers. And this is 31. 0.101.5518. On the screen at the top here, you can see the um, Intel driver software. And I just wanted to show that right here where my mouse is, resizable bar is enabled, which is key for Blender performance with cycles. So you wanna make sure that you can enable that if you're going to get an Intel Arc GPU. And that also probably applies to most games, if not all games as well. So be aware of that before you buy any of these Intel GPUs, at least from this generation. Um, in the future, it may not matter as much, but you definitely want this enabled for uh, mid-2024 um, to use Intel's GPUs. Okay, so for these render tests, we use the Classroom, Barbershop, Lone Monk, and Scanland scenes. And here are the results that I got for those. Um, remember to pause the video to check out the other results if you want to compare this result to the other ones. I've highlighted the new um, A770 GPU results in this kind of light blue color here. So you can see it clearly versus the other results. You'll see I do have old Intel Arc A770 results on here as well. This is kind of helpful so you can compare um, basically this was Blender 3.6, which was just brand new at the time with current drivers at, at that time. Um, you can compare that to today's results, which, um, to summarize actually did come out slightly better, but let's get into them in detail. So for the classroom scene, uh, we got 31.6 seconds, which was about six and a half seconds faster than my previous result. So Starting off pretty strong there. It looks like the newer drivers may have made an impact. Um, and you can see here the arc was just slightly slower than the RTX 3060 result that I got tonight as well. Just 2.6 seconds slower. So that's one to keep an eye on as we go through these. For the barbershop scene, the arc A770 got just about seven seconds faster than my previous result. Not necessarily significant, but it looks like it did improve. Um, again, here is the 3060 for comparison. I got this result tonight as well. It looks like the 3060 and the 7800 XT both pulled quite a bit ahead of the arc in this test. For the Lone Monk scene, uh, for some reason the arc does quite a bit better in this one than the 3060. Um, it seems like the AMD GPUs make up a lot of ground here and apparently the Intel GPUs do as well versus Nvidia because here you can see the RK770 is competing with the uh, 3080 instead of the 3060. So a little bit interesting there as far as new versus old. This time the Lone Monk scene only took the Intel GPU 237 seconds. The previous result was 257, so not a massive difference, but 20 seconds. Um, and that one was tested on Blender 4. Oh, I think probably three or four months ago. So um, notable, but not life-changing. And finally for the Scanland scene, the arc only improved six seconds here. It went from 105 to 99. So 
Nothing really crazy there. Uh, it does appear to be just slightly ahead of the 7800 XT in this test and somehow just a couple seconds slower than the 3060 again. So that's it for this new test. I would say that Blender 4.1 and brand new drivers as of May 13th of 2024 do not make a significant difference. So if you've upgraded Blender or your drivers for Intel in the last month or two, you probably aren't um, going to have any benefit to upgrade anything now. That may change in the future, but it really seems like Intel's uh, driver updates are kind of plateaued to the point where the hardware is optimized with the software now. That's it for the Intel Arc A770 update as of May 2024. Let me know what you think if you have any questions. Otherwise, be watching the channel this week. Hopefully, I'm getting in a couple servers. I'm going to start doing some stuff with those. Hopefully, maybe um, I can get enough learned to kind of build out the render farm in the proper way. Um, so be watching for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Kind of a new direction to go in. So otherwise, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.